great dear friends, great viewers of my time, what you are just seeing there in that note is not something new. He has been doing that to some of African countries. He has been buying cars, different type of exotic cars for the government. This did not start today. Sometimes I would like to ask myself, what type of man is this? We have told you that this man is no longer the Buhari we used to know, but none of you want to accept that uh, it and they swallow it. First of all, he came back from Britain, a man who went to Britain for treatment because he was quite sick. He come back looking like something else. After people started complaining, he went back again. He came back again with in form of different person. And none of you believe what Avabaz, great Mazen Nandekan said. Is that not obvious that this is why he could not put that in the whole suit he filed against Mazen Nandekan? Because he knows that he will be called and different things will start coming out. We have to always be sincere to ourselves here. This thing you've seen here right now is just one of the things. He hasn't been buying cars, different exotic cars for different countries in Africa. Why the poor masses are suffering. All he gives us is Killing. All he gives us is suffering. All he give us, gives us is suicide. It's not longer. It's no longer in use. People are committing suicide here and there because of poverty. No job. No good school. No good road. And terrorists are everywhere. This is what this man brought to us. And this is what Bonat Libu is trying to bring to us. The same thing that fool who calls himself Sherima, who was caught on radio, audio, criticizing the Ibos. That is what he's bringing to you. The same man who sold school girls to Boko Haram. In fact, he even took ransom for them. He collected ransom. Upon that, they did not return those girls. Some of them were, preg were pregnant. This is why we are telling you that this country can't work. Somebody is claiming that he has the document. And this is exactly what the person posted here. But in my own opinion, I am not even talking about document because it's already visible in different contracts. The cars he bought for people, for the government. How many youth in Nigeria who has job? None of them. None. He cannot use that money to at least progress some youth into business. Rather, he is busy spending it everywhere. The fucking trend line he built from here to Niger. What was that all about? We have no good road. He's building trend line from here to Niger. Him with Amiji. That idiot woman, I'm ashamed of him. It's all about money. Greedy men everywhere. While the promises will be suffering, them themselves will be enjoying. That's all they believe in. So far, the money is coming to their pocket. They don't have time. They don't give a damn. Life will not always be like this. Time has come. When we have to approach this man and teach them a lesson that they will never forget. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Unless we are not ready. Why can't we be ready? If the money is there, we have hot-headed men, dreaded men like me, who can do and do. We will not understand. Some of you are saying, show your face. I have a mission. And that mission will be fulfilled before I show my face. And wait and see. 
I'm only praying for Mazda and the Kano to come out from the, this, this DSS dungeon, first of all. That Biafra, we must have it, whether they like it or not. Enough of all these shenanigans. I think I've come to the end of this news. Remember, bless as a share. Cheers. <laughs>